find the exact value of the sine of 15 degrees. Uh, 15 degrees is not an angle in the special triangle. It's not a unit on the unit circle. So for us to find the exact value of the sine of 15 degrees, we're going to have to use a sine sum or difference formula to rewrite 15 using special angles. So for example, we could say that the sine of 15 degrees is equal to the sine of 60 degrees minus 45 because 60 minus 45 is 15. And then we can use our sine difference formula. The sine of 60 minus 45 would be equal to the sine of 60 times the cosine of 45 minus the cosine of 60 times the sine of 45. And because these are special angles, we can find the values exactly. Uh, to find the sine of 60, if we think about a special triangle that has an angle of 60, uh, the side across from 60 would be square root of 3, the adjacent side would be 1, the hypotenuse would be 2. So the sine of 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. Uh, to find the cosine of 45, let's draw a 45, 45, 90 triangle. The sides would be 1, 1, square root of 2. So the cosine of 45 would be 1 over the square root of 2, adjacent over hypotenuse. When we rationalize that, we get the square root of 2 over 2 minus, using our same triangles, the cosine of 60 would be a half, and the sine of 45 would be 1 over the square root of 2, which is the square root of 2 over 2. So simplifying down what we have, the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 would be the square root of 6. 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 1 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So we end up with the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 over 4. And that's the exact value of the sine of 15 degrees. Square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4 is a scary looking answer. So you might take out your calculator and put your calculator in degree mode and enter the sine of 15 degrees to get the approximate answer and you'll get 0.2588 approximately. And then if you go back and on your calculator enter the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 and then divide that quantity by 4, you also will get 0.2588. So that can make you feel a little bit better that you did get uh, the correct answer.